allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, for which it stands, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Your line is, good morning, eagles. It's a great day for SOL testing. <laughs> the line is, it's a great day for SOL testing. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We are live. Ladies, if you're going to be dead on the air, I'm just going to have to replace you. No, get back. Get back. No, get back. Get back. No! I'm sure you're going to be fine. The school has a great reputation. I know, but what, what's with the dark cloud above the school? I don't know. It's probably just some strange weather pattern. I wouldn't call it support. Um, 
Excuse me, I'm the new student. My name is Sam Ketchum. So what do you need, Sam, new kid? Uh, can you tell her I can get a class schedule? Well, I can't do it. My computer's not working. Oh, Brenda, you're so lovely. Yes, I know it. I can't help it. I guess I can help. So that's how Ronald Reagan's policies brought about the end of the Cold War. Any questions? Yeah, um, new kid. Um, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> we haven't heard that one before. May I go to the bathroom? Go. What? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why not? I just wouldn't. I gotta go. I warned you. He'll choose you next. Hello? Don't even mention it to Mr. Mandel, you hate Dallas. That guy is obsessed with the Cowboys. Really? What else can you tell me about this school? Since you're new, you should probably know. This isn't exactly a normal school. Yeah, I know. Number one in the state and all. Mm, no, not exactly. Strange things happen at this school. Like what? It's hard to explain. Like a haunted bathroom? You didn't use the upstairs boys' bathroom, did you? Yeah, there was nobody in with me, but I heard this whispering. That's the Pokey Ranger cursed bathroom. What? Pokey Rangers? Yeah, you know, like the TV show? Yeah, when I was in elementary, I was obsessed with that show. Oh yeah, Pokachu was my favorite. Wasn't that everyone's favorite? I still use the Poke Box to keep my change in my book bag. Those things are huge. How do you fit it in your book bag? I have a big book bag. But what does an animated TV show have to do with a haunted bathroom? It was cursed by the ultimate Poke Ranger fan. The fan? Years ago, there was a kid who went to Thoreau that was obsessed with Poke Ranger. He had everything Poke Ranger, and I mean everything. One day, he was wearing his autographed Poke Ranger shirt in the bathroom. And the soap dispenser exploded. It ruined his shirt. I curse this bathroom in the name of Pokichu. Use this room and seal your doom. If you are that dumb, then a Poke Ranger you become. That was the last time anyone heard about John. What happened to him? He moved to San Diego. San Diego. That too. It was discovered by the Germans in 1904 and they named it San Diego. Which of course means... What does that have to do with it? Yes, well, since then, strange things have happened and students have vanished. A picture showed up on the wall of the bathroom. The picture showed a pokey ring. And when kids started vanishing, their picture showed up as well. The custodian will clean the picture off. 
That's the end of that. And days after, it would appear again. What the heck is going on here? Whenever you go into the bathroom and say rain today the three times, the phantom pokey ranger comes. And takes that student into the picture and never heard from again. Way to go, guys. Way to pick on the new kid. We're serious, Sam. Yeah, seriously messed up. Phantom Pokey Rangers, zombie students. Next year, you're gonna be telling me there's a pool on the third floor. Seriously, Sam. Don't use that bathroom. Oh, I'll vanish, all right. Vanish from this prank. What are we gonna do? There's nothing else we can do. We told him the truth. I don't think he's afraid. Oh, he will be. He will be. be. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice. I must have had a Yoda in my throat. Why do you think of this school so far? It's okay. There's too many lockers. Are you still trying to use that bathroom? Yeah, why? So you're just gonna ignore the warnings, huh? Yeah, pretty much. You know in horror movies where they say don't act like a dummy, but they keep doing it? Yeah, why? They're kind of doing that right now. Hey, this is reality. What could happen? Playing this game anymore, move. Oh, what the heck? <clears throat> Ranger danger, Ranger danger, Ranger danger. Funny people, funny. Sam here? Well, he 
went into that bathroom. Very funny, Kimberly. But Mr. Hamill, you were in the first office! I remember! I saw them! Jeez, very funny people. Pick on the new guy. But Mr. No, no, you've had all your fun. But he did. I want to prove this to you once and for all. Oh, Wait, no, 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 sit no, down. No. Sit down. Now I'll be right back. Go, go, pokey ranges. <laughs> Make sure you cover everything in Blackboard. Miss Collie, Miss Collie. Yes. Am I your favorite? No, your mom's my favorite. Ooh. I thought my mom was your favorite. Does that include typing? Of course. You'd better get off of Minecraft before Miss Collie catches you. Don't worry, I can switch browsers faster than you can say Internet Explorer. I don't get why you're so obsessed with this game. She said, you don't actually live in Minecraft. This is the real world. What do you mean? Because it's fun. Take a look. I built Thoreau Middle School from outside in. Oh, wow, awesome. You made all the rooms. Even the showers in the boys' locker room. I hope not the girls' one. I have no idea what that looks like, so no. Ed, get that Minecraft stuff off and get back to work. Minecraft again? Yeah, so. Get the computer. I need to use it. If you want this keyboard, you're going to have to rip it out of my cold, dead hands. Okay, here you go. You got one more day to finish all those assignments. You better stay on task and complete them all. Does that include typing? Psst, Ed, this college watching. Be careful. I just need to get one more thing done. I think your head's beginning to look like a cube. Ha ha. Okay, ha ha, who's messing with me? What? I don't get it. Day in the 
cafeteria and I want some pepperoni. I'll be there in a minute, Miss Collie. I just have to finish up one more thing. All right, close the door on your way out. Mama Mia pepperoni! I like pepperoni pizza. Computer out again? Yes. It's a game. Ed, I Ed, sometime this game is gonna get you in trouble. Something's gonna happen that you don't want to happen. What is this? Espanol in esta clase. Perdóname, se me olvidó. ¿Dónde está Señorita Derry? No sé. Piensa que está metido en un atasco. Pero estamos en la tercera hora. ¿Tráfico en el pasillo? No. Acaba de entrar por el armario? Speak Spanish. Just, just get to, just get to work. Pero tenemos que ver un de UVD. Watch a, watch a what? Un de UVD. D, DV, DVD. What, what's a DVD? What are you talking about? In front of the room. Ah, uh, okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Forget it. Just read page four hundred fifty four in your 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 books. Solamente a tres cientos sesenta y dos páginas en nuestro libro. That doesn't matter. Just, just read that page, and when you're done with it, go back to the start and and start over again.
Paolo Esquen Sustituto. <laughs> I heard that. You better cut it out before I send you down to the principal for a paddling. Ah, lo siento por estar tan tarde a clase. Estaba metido en un atasco horrible. Señorita Derry? Sí, Isabel. Hola, muchísimas gracias por ser sustituto en mi clase. ¿Quién es usted? Sorry guys, I need to talk to Miss Schwant about getting better substitutes. <laughs> Going to the second floor, social studies, English, and foreign languages. And drama! And drama. Oh wow, this is so exciting. This is not the second floor. I don't get it. What button did you push? I, I pressed the second floor. This isn't the second floor. There's no other button to press. I'm not getting up. Press number one again. Just got worse. And hotter. Again, please. Stop playing around and get us back. I'm trying! Let me press the button. Hi, you. Hi. I'm just like waiting for the elevator. Yeah, I've been waiting. Some kids got in the elevator and it's not coming back. Let me try to get this open for you. Yeah, much better. Can you hurry up and try it again? I'm going. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm closing the door. Enough of 
this. We get to go to more weirder places than I can list. Next stop that looks half decent, I'm getting off. That's it. I'm going. Wait, you're going to Oz? Why not? The lion, the scarecrow, the tin man, the munchkins? No buts. I'm tired. I'm hungry and this looks good. Bye! Wait, you forgot about <coughs> the flying monkeys! Oh well, I guess it's just me. Come on, elevator, give me a good one. Ah, oh, crud. So I need to tell someone about this. Someone needs to know. Mm. If you find this, watch it, copy it, I don't know. Just 
put it on YouTube, whatever. Get our story out there, please. What are you doing in there? Um, nothing. Alright, sorry about that. My parents are getting suspicious. This all started when Ben and I got permission to film. Sorry, well, when Ben and I got permission to film the life of a middle school student. Um, it was supposed to be this awesome reality film that we could show rising 7th graders, but, well, just watch for yourself. Student. And Miss Fur asked us to come in here. She said you had a couple points to discuss with us about the filming. Yeah, I'm excited about you guys doing this film, but there's certain things I want to make sure you know that we have to follow if we're going to do a film like this. All right. I know I'd give you the hand up, but I just wanted to go over those things with you in person. Okay. okay. The first thing is that if uh, you're in a classroom doing the filming, you have the permission to do that unless the teacher tells you they want the camera off and they don't want to be filmed, then you have to turn it off. Right there. All right, sounds cool. We have to make sure, obviously, that it's school-appropriate language within the film. Definitely. All right. Okay. Um, remember that some students in our building may have opted out of being able to be filmed in a school publication, so we have to make sure that any filming we do with the students, we have the permission ahead of time to those students. And um, you have to remember that all the footage must be approved by me prior to us actually publicizing the documentary. Okay. We'll see that first. Okay. Uh, um, should we bring it to you before or after it's been edited? I think you can edit it and pull it together, then let's take a look at it together, and if there's any concerns I see in it, then we can discuss those soon and maybe how we can fix it. All right. Okay. Okay? Those are really just the basic parameters that I want to give you for doing this, but I'm excited because I think this is a video we'll be able to show all of our students, particularly our new students that are coming into Thoreau, and give them an opportunity to learn a little bit about us and what's the life of a student like it. Yeah, I was thinking... There is no Johnson! Only Zool! What's in the second row, fourth column? Four. Boom! Yeah. Emma. Boom! Emma. Emma. Ah. Ah. Where are you shooting? One, two, three, four. Yeah, one point. Oh, hey. no. Take a seat. Don't sign her up for the NBA. Uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah, spring like trainings that. do Wednesdays. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Actually, Miss Kamen's um, nice. Really? Yeah. Because really? I walked like, back and I looked in her room. I'm like, hi, Miss Kamen. Look at my awesome new camera. <laughs> <laughs> For her, I call Officer Byers. Oh, goodness. Because she's along the handcuffs. But yeah, true. See the Speaking of movie, movies, how's your filming going? Uh, Andrew, how's yours? I got yelled at by Miss Davies. Oh, yeah, a nice. Great time this week. <laughs> nice, Andrew. Direct your voice. See, she likes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know, we're having our ups and downs. Um, but I did come across the sort of crazy prank that someone's pulling on me. Really? Let me guess. A joke! Like New Jersey? First of all, like Jersey Shore. Yeah. Uh, yes, so yes. Right. Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore is the joke. That, that somebody like Miss Davies pulled a prank on you. Just to get you in trouble. Not yeah. quite. That, that would make sense. Uh, yeah. so what, was like, what was it? And I, I don't really think here is the place to discuss it. What? You know what? On, you know what? On. Forget I said it. So, uh, Ben decided to film at home for some reason, I don't know why, um, and this is what he got, but there's no audio for some reason. I don't know, I can't figure it out. Hey, Ben, what are you doing in here? Hey, you guys gotta see this. Look, where's Mr. DeLuca? Hey, just, just, just come here, look at this. Okay? 
So I've been looking through all these old news articles, right? Mm -hmm. And I found this one, it's from 1958, right? Oh. And then on the top here, you see, 1958. And then over here, they have uh, a newspaper from 1959. Wait, why are you showing this to me? Check this out. School opening. The town of Vienna will soon be celebrating the opening of a new school. Thoreau Middle School will, will open its doors to students in August of 1959. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't it open in 1960? Yeah, come on. It did. What's with this? The school will feature larger classrooms, a cafeteria with a stage, and a swimming, to swimming pool built into the top floor of the building. When asked about the unique design, new principal Frank and Gotti was, was quoted to have said, when the architects designed this school, they wanted to make sure to pay homage to Henry, Henry David homage. Thoreau. Homage. Homage, whatever. To Henry David Thoreau with some form of body of water. This middle school will not only have a fully working swimming pool that will allow many unique opportunities for enrolled students, it will also provide a brilliant wait. architectural advancement by locating the pool on the third floor. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Third floor? Um, I'm sorry, but there are only two floors on this. Just, just listen to what I have to say. The special design of the school is said to factor in a savings cost because of the pool and many possibilities for public and private use. Mr. Angotti went on to say that the administration would be working on developing physical education there, around the school. And this would we also... We have two gyms. I know. There is no pool. I know there's no pool. Then why do we have two gyms? I don't know. If they said there was going to be a pool. I know. It, it's, 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 it's so weird. And I don't see the point of this. It's it, it it's just creepy. I mean, that's that's I don't think it is. Wouldn't you be creeped out? I mean, you're you you've obviously been at this school for 2 years and you haven't seen this pool and we have two gyms. And well, it says that it opened a year earlier than yeah. it actually did. I still think you're just messing with me here. I'm not messing with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. What are we going to do with this? I don't know. We're going to show it to the teachers, Mr. Hood. Um, I'm in chamber choir. There are four different types of choirs here. Uh, you have men's, women's, semester, and chamber. And chamber is the audition one if, you, if you're into auditioning. Oh, hey guys. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Hello. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I'm good. good. Life's good. Um, where are you coming from? All right, awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna go into chorus You're now. Early. I'm early. Really? Yeah, you're early, really early. Wow, I'm not late for once. Yeah. Your hair. Normally your hair like no. Late. You, usually I'm like five minutes late to every class. I don't know what that's <laughs> about. Five, no. um, anyway, um, yeah, cause 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 stuff's just been bothering me and stuff and. Like what? I mean. And well, I, I mean, wait, what? Hey, Noah! Noah, did you see that kid? What kid? The, the, the one in all black. Did you see him? I don't know who you're talking about. No, you didn't? No. Where did he go? There he is! I know he's around here. Whoa, whoa. whoa. What? Are you kidding me? It's locked hot? So, here is lunchtime. Uh, I'm with the with the homies, with the friends over here. Allie's giving the death stare. And um, basically, it's just uh, a time to have fun, socialize, you know, eat if you want, whatever. And um, and uh. At the beginning of the year, you start to sign seats and whatever, and um, and um, after assigned seats, you you you. Get oh, all right. There's Ben in the hall again. Wait, I'm in the hall too. <laughs> hey, Ben. Oh, hey, Andrew. How How's it going? Good. Mm. How are you? Uh, doing okay. Good. Good. You need to clean out your locker. I know, man. This is the messiest thing. Oh, hey, what's with the box? I'm punks. I haven't seen these before. Going uh, deep sea fishing again? I haven't seen these before either. Ah, come on. Yes, you have. Don't lie. Deep sea fishing. Yeah. Hey, guys. 
What's up uh, with the camera uh, thing? Oh. Um, we're, um, nothing. Um, What's that? Uh, there. Let me see it, let me they're, see they're, it. They're some goggles, goggles, I think. Whoa! Hmm. These are old. Where'd you get them from? Um, I don't yeah. know. They just appeared in my locker. Uh, yeah, that, in yeah, your right. Locker? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What are you sleep eBaying? Sleep what? eBaying? What's People that? who take certain medications have been known to drive cars and buy things on eBay. Yeah, what's with the obsession with old swimwear? Old uh, swimwear? I haven't heard this before. What's about? There's no obsession. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, paper. Yeah, that's oh, a this lot one of paper. Well test. Come on. Uh, yeah. Ooh, nice six hundred. I'm just gonna put this. Oh, come on. But, in but, here. But what, you, but what are you gonna do with these? I'm gonna. Yeah. Just leave them there. So why did you want to talk to me? Sorry. It's Ben. Yeah. He's being paranoid, and I haven't seen him around lately. Me neither. I, I'm. I mean, I tried calling him on Skype. He always picks up my calls, but this time he didn't. So, I don't know. But what about you? Said you you thought he was being paranoid. Why? Yeah. Didn't he, you see his face or hear his tone when he told us about the prank or the newspaper? Oh, you mean that? Oh. Yes. Like the newspaper thing? I. Yeah, but he never really took an acting class. But you, I know, I don't know. Um. You think he's acting? He might be. I don't know. It's Ben. But um, I don't know. I don't. Then I don't believe it. Prank? Maybe he's pulling it on himself. I don't know. I did that once. Why would he pull a prank on himself? Why would you pull a prank on yourself? To make it so other people pity me. It worked. Sorry. So oh. basically, you're saying Ben wants us to pity him. Or just to get attention. I mean, it's like he doesn't get enough already due to this movie. <sighs> yeah. But what if it's real? Well... No, no. I don't have time for you right now. Why are you in here? There's, it's as the Shh. Shh. Why? Shh. Why? What's the oh, camera for? No, I knew he was in here. No. What's the camera for? <sighs> hey! Why is my grandma's swim cap in here? Wait, wait, what do you mean? You know, back, way back when, when they put these on their head and they went swimming. But what's this? Whoa! Well, what is this? Just gotta close the door here. Now, uh, Miss Mills is a um, very nice English teacher, you know. Doesn't give that much homework. Um, she's very nice. And all right, so I gotta go ask Miss Malone a question. I'm calling about that leak in my ceiling again. Let's go. Yeah, I know that you guys have already come out three times, but but listen, it's leaking. Yeah, I I know. I promise you, it's not because of rain. It's because of rain only. Uh huh. Yeah, there there are no pipes in my classroom. How can it be the pipes? No, it's, it's not the air condition. I promise you, it's not the air condition. Oh, really? Look, I know you've checked it three times already, but can you send somebody else out? I mean, it's really kind of weird. Uh, it, it has this strange smell. It really smells like, like chlorine, like a mm -hmm. swimming pool or something. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Oh, oh, one second. Oh, hi, Ben. Is there uh, something I can help you All right, so why are we going outside again? Research. Really? Yeah. It's like you and Ben are a dual conspiracy to get me to do research. That is not cool with me. 
I, I'd find out about that. No, Wait, I'm right? <laughs> Dang it. I, I thought I thought I was on Steaming. stupid Steaming. bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. Sorry. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Yeah, look. Papers. Paper. San Diego Times. That's on the other side. Why do you want me to look at a paper from the other side of the country? Oh, it's important. Just Really? Important. No, it isn't. It's from the other side of the yes. country. Where I used to live. Okay. Nothing important happens there. Well, in this case, it does. Really? Like what? Look, even look at the date. 1961. Wait, that's like a year after the school opened, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Look at this. Burgundy School welcomes principal. Okay. Burgundy School welcomes its new principal today. Principal Frank Angotti comes from Virginia when he was principal at middle school in Fairfax. I hope to th keep things classy in the San Diego area. Wait, Frank Angotti. Um, one second. Oh, right. Isn't that the name that Ben was saying? About yes. who was supposed to be principal of the school? Yeah, but Carter and Thorpe was. Yeah. Right, so why are you showing me this? I don't know. It seems like it's important. Somehow. Somehow. Okay. Um. Sorry. So, uh, Ben asked me here to the library. Don't know why, but I'm missing lunch. Um. Ms. Brown and Mr. Ambrose, you aren't here. Not sure why, but Ben! Yeah, I'm back here, Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, what'd you call me here for, Ben? So, you know how I've been telling you about this figure, right? Yeah. Well, I found him in all of the yearbooks. Um, okay? I doubt that. No, no. You don't doubt that. Fine. Because I Fine. found him in all of these. I doubt okay? that, but okay. Check. Okay. 1962, okay? Mm hmm. Starting yeah. Starting way back. Have him right here. Um, yeah. Okay. Shadow. No. Yes. It's not shadow. a shadow. That's a shadow. It's not just a shadow. Look, here. Um, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm not gonna give you that one. Man, I can't believe you don't believe me. Uh, right here. You see him? The outline? Some guy... Mm. Okay, fine, fine. What? Tell uh -huh. you don't believe me. Oh, well, yeah, what do you expect? This one, right here? Um... Bald. No, he's yes. not just bald. Really? Have you seen him up close before? Yes, I have. Hmm. This one right here. Do you see his face? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. That's creepy. I'll give you that. That's creepy. Um. Uh. Maybe I put it under this. Yeah. It's right here. You see him? Mm. Standing just off in the distance. Could be anyone. It couldn't Please. just be anyone. Whatever. <clears throat> and this one right here. All right, fine. Um, I really don't believe you that much, but that one. Oh, will come on! Face. It's all in plain sight. Maybe to you, not to me, though. <sighs> I can't believe you don't believe me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Parker, how you doing? Where, I mean, where have you guys been? Uh, uh, sorry, we got held up at class. Yeah. Held Mr. Up for what, 15 minutes? Mr. Lowe wasn't sure I mean, if this was you, legit. Oh, can you sorry. The door? Oh, oh, sorry about yeah, that. Sorry. Sorry. Andrew, come on, man. Hey, it's not my fault. Excuse the mess. Excuse the mess. That's fine. Nah, that's cool. How can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, well, well, um, I thought we discussed that we could interview you for, uh, for, uh, Life of a Middle School Student. Life of a Middle School Student? You know, the movie we're filming? Oh, yeah. oh okay. All right, so uh, we just wanted to ask a couple questions about your background, you okay. know. Uh, so, what Wait. got you interested in, in being a teacher? I like working with kids, making a difference in kids. Yeah. Um, what did you major in in college? I majored in elementary education. Oh, okay. Cool, uh, one second. Ben, where's your camera? Oh, uh, <laughs> I kind of left it at home. <sighs> yeah, Great I have, job. I have like maybe eight minutes. Oh, uh, right, sorry. All right, that's all right. Okay. All right. Um, 
right. So, uh, do, do you want to ask a question? What do you want to do when you were in college, as a living, for a living? Sorry. My major was elementary education, so... Was that exactly what you wanted to do, though? I wanted to okay. be a teacher. Alright. Um, now for one of the most asked questions among middle schoolers. What was your mile time in, in, in middle oh, school? Oh, yes. My mile time? Yeah. Pretty proud to say it was about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Oh, yeah. I've, I've been training for that now. time, you know, i got, oh, yeah. got to get that presidential, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. trying to reach to my potential. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I've got a question. Uh, what do you think about the third floor? Hey, the, the pool up there? The what? The third floor, you know, the pool that's up there? What pool? Andrew. There's a pool up there, isn't there? What's he talking I read about, about it. I don't even know. You do know. Why are you laughing? Uh, I, Can you guys no. get out of here, please? Oh, you got to go. I, okay. I, 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 go. Let's go. Out. Sorry. Get out. See ya. Have Sorry. All right, bye. Tie your shoes. All right. Ben called Catherine and I here again. I don't know about her, but I'm tired of being called. What about you, Catherine? Definitely. Ben, it's Saturday. What do you want? Dude, do you see this? I just wanted to be here at 4 o'clock. It's 4.15 now, okay? I, I don't Who like... care? Does it look like I care? Dude, okay, this is some serious. Stuff, okay. Uh, tell us. This is everything that I have. Okay. Just what CD? Great. Great. No, it's my mom's Glee CD. No, it's all the footage <laughs> that I took for the movie. Okay? Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. Why do I need this? You need it because I found something. Okay. You'll, you'll, you mean that prank? Yeah. The newspaper. Okay. It's the prank. Okay. You'll understand when you see it. Okay. But well, right this, Catherine. Now, right now, I've got to do this. Make sure my sto story's told. Okay. okay. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. wait ben? Ben? Ben, ben. 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 Hey, Matthew. Ben. 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 Catherine, come on. Oh, Why is the door? I don't know. The door is locked. I don't get it either. Let's go. Ben. Ben! Ben! Oh, what? Oh no! Come on, Catherine! Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. How did he get in? I don't know! Even more important, how did that figure get in? I don't know! Ben! What is he doing? Oh no! He must be going upstairs. What are you doing? Ben! Ben? What's going on in there? I don't know, but I've never felt more helpless in my life. Alright. Hey there. Um. So, you've probably seen what happened up to this point, and... Uh, Ben's gone now, and nobody seems to remember who he is. Everyone I talk to, they're just, who? Only Catherine and I remember him, so... Not really sure what's going on, but, um... Uh, I went to check it out the other day, see if I could figure something out, because it seems nothing's changed. But he's gone, so something's got to be changed. Uh, and this is what happened, so... Alright, so, um, it's after school. Uh, I need to find out what's going on, but I don't think anyone's here. Uh, I propped the door open with a carpet, hopefully it stayed, so... Uh, let's hope. Ah, perfect. Doors open. No one should be here, so. So it doesn't look like anyone's here. Thank you. 
Catherine for her to talk and they're coming to me now and I don't know why. But um you need to get her story out. Open the door, the principal's here to talk to you. Um spread the word, tell everyone, please. Officer Buyer, uh, Officer Buyer. Uh, can, we need your help up front here. We've got another one outside the door. Officer Buyer, as soon as you can, we've got another one out front. All right, I'm on my way. Can't wait. Woohoo! Magoo caused that incident. The goo? Never mind. This late start rules. You're telling me. Classes are shorter now. I wish chemical trucks and candy trucks would spill stuff over the road every day. Wait, wait. What ran into what? Yeah, some chemical truck and candy truck had an accident on 495. It's back up all the way to Baltimore. That's the big fuss? Anyone hurt? Nope. Just a lot of wasted candy. Mmm, all that candy. Wasted. 
Anyone seen Officer Bio? No. What's going on? Don't know. She's standing guard, giving everybody attitude. Said that it's Bonnie because Bonnie's doing it faster than Ben. Same amount of work, but faster. That makes power. Okay. Um. So, any questions? Yes? Um, if toxic chemicals were to spill all over candy, can I still not eat it? Um, well, of course you can still eat it, because chemicals take, make candy taste way better. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. All right, you guys, make sure that you do your 16-page paper. That was the bell. It's due tomorrow, double space, or no, single space, and it's one electron. Got it? Have a good day. Where's Miss Fizioc? Where's the rest of the art class? Should we wait here? Let's go check with the office. What if we get caught? We'll get caught if you don't be quiet. Quick, into the showers. This is gross. I hate fitness days. This is better than running a mile. Did you hear something? No. Maybe it's just a big cockroach. Ew. There's nothing there. Good. Miss Lee, you going to breakfast with us? I have a lot of work to do. The kids need me. Oh, come on, Miss Lee. They'll still be here when we get back. No, I'll stay. I'll hold down the fort. We'll be sure to bring you back a pancake there, Miss Lee. Well, hello. Don't you look lovely with your guitar? Well, you look lovely in your aerobics outfit. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. What a lovely guitar you have. Oh, I love your headband. Hello? Hello, does someone need guidance?
I don't think anyone's there. Then what's that noise? On second thought, I think my netbook is fine. See ya. Bye, thank you! Hey girls, how can I help you? Hi, aren't you supposed to be in the front? Yes, I am a clone. I needed to be in two places at one time. Can we see Miss Lee? This ought to be good. Hey, Buckley! Malone! Buckley! What does she need? What do you guys all need? We need to talk to Miss Lee. Sorry, she isn't here right now. Oh, she isn't? Wasn't she here before? Yeah, wasn't she? Well, she's gone now. Any idea when she'll be back? Well, she's not here now. She's gone... Uh, she, she's gone. She's gone to a Hello Kitty convention. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'll just wait in front of Okay. A Hello Kitty convention? Seems legit. She just up and left without any warning. Emergency Hello Kitty convention. I don't know. Did we both miss an art field trip or something? I don't know. Let's just wait in the front office. <laughs> really? Yeah, let me check and see if they're in the uh, shower room playing around, okay? Tell us what happened. It was horrible. Giant gummy worms. They ate them and made gummy bears. That makes no sense. You're telling me! Listen, Alex, you're already in a lot of trouble, and now you have this gummy bear, gummy worm story going on. What's the, but it's the truth. No one's going to believe you. I think it's best to not repeat the story. So how do I explain where the other two went? To a Hello Kitty convention. Yes. To a Hello What? A Hello Kitty convention? You know, with Miss Lee. Oh, right. They went on a Hello Kitty convention to Japan with Miss Lee. I can't say that. It'll start embarrassing rumors. Uh, yes. What did you need, dear? Uh, I just, I think I heard something in the, the boiler room down in the side. Yes, yes, we know. The air conditioning guys are on it. But it didn't sound like an air conditioner. But it was. But... No buts. Back to class. <sighs> okay. I'll give you cake to keep you quiet. The cake is a lie! I know I heard something in that electrical closet, but when I tried to talk to them, they said they wouldn't talk to me about it. Did you guys see the police tape down at the boiler room? I heard something moving in the walls when I told my teacher she's, she pretended not to hear it, but the whole class heard it. This just isn't normal. We need to figure out what's going on at this school.
Well, let's see if we can get another teacher to talk to us. I mean, there's got to be somebody who wants to know the truth. There seems to be an awful lot of subs in the building today. Wonder if Miss Malik has a sub. Why don't we check? Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious, but why is he here? Miss Mac will never eat gummy bears. She's a sweet and fi fish woman. Swedish fish? Yeah, you know, one of those tiny little fish and sweet and gummy like things. Long gummy worms crawling out of the room. Oh, okay, so it wasn't just me. Somebody go see if they're gone. I'm not going. I'll go. In here, you're not supposed to be in here. Miss Ford, Miss Malik's gone. There's a giant gummy right her close. That's a giant. I don't want to hear it. You know you're not supposed to be upstairs in the morning. You need to go down to the cafeteria now. Go. But Miss Fur, detention for all of you. Shh. What did we just see? I don't know. Mr. Hampton's clothes, goo, and giant gummy bears. And don't forget Miss Malik's running gear and the gummy worms leaving the room. You kids, simmer down. This is detention. But Miss Savez, the teachers are going missing, and all that's left for them are the clothes and giant humongous gummy bears. I don't get it. How did we get giant gummy worms in the school? Well, there was that big accident with the chemical truck and the candy truck. Is that even possible? It makes about as much sense as four-foot gummy worms turning teachers into gummy bears. How did you guys figure that out? Without Miss Malik. So what did Miss Fur say about it? Did Detention! Well, she must have it under control. Almost under control. Maybe not. We need to tell a teacher who can help. Someone smart. And someone who's not a gummy bear. What about Miss Collie? She teaches computers and that takes brains. We just need to get out of detention. Go on. Save the school. If you get caught, I know nothing. Miss Collie, Miss Collie. Some important work to do. Darn it, I died. Come on, let's let's just go talk to her. We're too late. Wait, how is the whole class not aware that? Let it go. How do people not realize that? Shh. We have, we have more things, things more to be doing. doing. Gummy bear? She brought gummy bears better than cookies. I don't know, but that 
giant gummy bear he left sure was good. That gummy bear tastes like science. What's happening out there? Giant gummy worms. They're attacking the school. What do we do? I think we leave. Eat those gummy worms. Should we eat them? Eat the gummy worms? Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. I don't know! No, no! Guys, let's just eat the gummy worms. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Eat the gummy worms. Come on, guys, I can't, I can't hold it much longer. All right. One, two, three. To... How many points do you think those things are on Weight Watchers? I don't know. Probably about 17 million. Wait, if we eat these giant gummy worms, then what will happen to us?
want the computer. I need to use it. If Please. you want this keyboard, you're going to have to rip it out of my dirty, dead hands. No. <laughs> no. 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 Did you even make my action? This what? Cut. Oh yeah. Continue to look at the th yeah. Got it. There you go. Pull the door. <laughs> Sorry.
Now I'll be right back. Go, go, Poké Rangers! No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no.